The world has changed. Did you notice? And in what ways have you noticed? A human is made up of many things. Part of this is what you do each day, who you talk to, and where your interests are up to. There is also another part to this. It is the more general picture. It's the bigger picture going on around you. You were born with a brain and a mind, an emotional state, a physical state, and ways to interact with your personal and general environment. Most of the time, though, people seem to take these for granted. Intuition, for instance, gives way to facts, and many forms of understanding all of this tends to have to take a back seat to other things, usually worldly things. But this is not all that you are, hence the reason why I bring it up. If something in the political realm changes, for example, how do you respond? If the cost of living rises again, again, how do you respond? If something to do with work changes, how do you respond? If something happens in your personal relationship, how do you respond? These represent just the tip of the iceberg when talking about the areas that a person in our modern age comes in contact with generally on a daily basis in some way. It was once written, the range of what we think and do is limited by what we fail to notice. And because we fail to notice, that we fail to notice, there is little we can do to change until we notice how failing to notice shapes our thoughts and our deeds. Here's some considerations to take on board. Curiosity willingness to be open to something new reassure one's fears or concerns will be looked after plant the seed as they say for instance did you know dot 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 and lead by the choices you make and the activities you invest in once each and every human realizes they simply need to reinitialize what is at the heart of the dynamics of life both in and outside of what they at present consider themselves to be, they can, in a nutshell, hit the reset button that will unlearn the incomplete and then learn the complete to then continue on their personal journey. Then, there will be no need to drag it all out, continue to compartmentalize your lives, and can then cooperate with grace and ease. No more one-sided views and denoted quote-unquote ideas, as most still misinterpret further inquiries for answers. The contemplation, therefore, need only be this. Why is this so? Is it educational? Informational? Opinionated? Transgression? Mirrored? Sideswiped? Or perhaps something else? You know the host has reached the peak of any type of experience-based learning curve when it is abundantly demonstrating the negative extremes of those experiences. The more that this line of consideration, inquiry and investigation comes about in each and every human's mind, the closer we get to sure footing and further that we get from falsehoods, BS stories, human drama, pity and sympathy tales that all stem from unpronounced fear poor understanding of our past, and so, people can finally grow through, past, and out of these things that hold them back and therefore life on this planet. Admittedly, this is the short version or path that I speak of, for so many are still struggling with the basics, and there simply is not enough humans who have an understanding that is deep and broad enough and aware enough to explain it openly, minus the rhetoric. Hint, hint, more are needed. Recycled actions of the past will only ever produce the same in kind as a result, no matter whether it be direct or indirect. The true nature of the human spirit is alive and well. All you need do is pay attention for long enough, and you'll see it for yourself. And so, you can then show others that the adventure has only just begun. To be a student of all things does not mean you need to learn everything and therefore know everything. 
It refers to the simple and very effective ways and means to see yourself, other people, the animals and plant life, the cities and towns, and even the technology we have generated for our use, and therefore their involvement in what we call life. All with the foundation of something where all our beliefs and interests merge, to create the complete picture that offers each one the options of how it wishes to be expressed. When you come to truly, and I mean truly, respect and understand this, there will be no need for knowing everything or anything, for the insecurities of your place will have no way to gesture for your approval. Now some may believe that this is baggage, that it is unnecessary, however, they would be gravely mistaken. It is through your understanding, and this alone, that you come to learn anything, not just take on board information and catalogue it in your head, but truly embrace all that it has to offer. Then, not only are you on a different path, but you have learned.